Well, for more on this, we're now joined by SABC reporter Balete Mtetwa, who's uh, been watching this uh, memorial service which uh, took place at the Santin Convention Center uh, just north of Johannesburg. And uh, yeah, many, many people came, as, as many as could be fitted into the service. Uh, such was the demand that they had to uh, limit the number of people that could attend uh, by issuing free tickets, but it was on a first-come, first-served uh, basis. And uh, stars and uh, celebrated people, certainly from the music world and hip-hop in particular, were all there to uh, pay their tributes to uh, AKA's life and uh, many sharing memories of the time that they spent with him and the music that they shared with him and there was a song and dance uh, throughout as uh, they listened to his life story and uh, the contributions that he made to music in South Africa. And uh, one by one, they got onto the stage and uh, we were told the story of uh, this icon that people call Mega and uh, the music that he brought joy to so many people. Uh, we're hoping to catch up. In fact, let's go to Mbalentle Mtetwa, who's uh, uh, been there and uh, following the story for us. For us. Mbalentle, um, it's over now, but it was, from what we saw from uh, the visuals on television, uh, a moving celebratory affair. Peter, it has been uh, somewhat of a celebratory, a celebratory um, event where even the memorial service in itself was structured in somewhat of a concert where we saw both tributes from friends, family, colleagues, as well as performances from um, musicians in the industry, really just them coming in to pay their last uh, respects and, you know, give a tribute to the man that was super mega. Now, outside, uh, the venue. Uh, earlier on you would have seen um, visuals of a brass band that was playing outside with some of those who were not able, which are fans mostly, who were not able to go inside, uh, also just dancing outside here. But it seems as though now that the memorial service has wrapped up inside, it seems as though people are moving outside. And as you can hear, there is singing here. And you know, right now this road was closed off uh, a short while ago where we heard the brass band playing AKA's song and uh, the people here are dancing and singing along but now we've got some members you want to remember that this was organized by the ANC Youth League saying that they were here for a guard of honor um, in, 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 in AKA's honor and the people singing here are saying that they're singing a struggle song really saying that they love AKA and and, and, and that's essentially what they are singing um, over here. I'm joined by um, a, a young South African. Uh, we know him as um, Ndanta Mushawli, but many call him Ndanta Lux, who's going to uh, speak to us about why he is here and what he thinks of what is happening out here. Thank you so much uh, for speaking to us. Um, why are you here? And why did you choose to come and, and, and pay your respects to AKA? Look, uh, we chose to come and send our condolences to the AKA family, South African family, African continent family, and the world and worldwide, because AKA was a global icon. Listen to the young people. We are actually coming in, standing together to say that we can't stand a lawless country. I can name it. Senzo, City Lights, our peers are getting gunned down. That means we must not clear up our, our weekends and just be ready to bury our own people. We can't stand it. We can't normalize a, a country where people get away with murder day in, day out. But we see it from the politicians. What do you expect? That's why the ground is like this. The politicians, which politicians have ever been held we accountable for anything? We, we want justice, justice for AKA. The young people are shouting justice. We want justice for AKA. We want justice! We want justice! We want justice. And, and, and what would justice look like for, for young people? Justice would look something like this. Young people actually being prioritized, being put in the positions of power. We're tired of people being in positions of power because apparently one day, once upon a time, they held an AK-47 and fought for the country. This country must be led on competence, not on experience that you're my friend and I come from, the, from uh, Angola with you and I can sing a Joslova song. There's young people who are graduating on a day, every year young people are graduating, but you are feeling street corners. 
We don't have room in parliament, we don't have room in private sector, and that's why the old people, their only solution is to kill us so that they can continue hogging the future. And what is a justice for AKA? What does justice for AKA look like exactly? Look, I'm, I, I don't mean to, to, to be the one that, you know, that always tells the truth. I'm telling you now, there will not be justice for AKA. There's been too, too many that fell before AKA. AKA is Clavelo. What that means in English is he's our sacrificial lamb for the young people to come together and realize that they have to find solutions for themselves. There's no old person that's going to come and find solutions and find justice for AKA. Certainly. So which one was, which one of AKA's songs stood out for you? Uh, you were inside, it was a beautiful ceremony and people came out and paid their respects and their tributes. You know, what would be your message to, to AKA and which one was your favorite song? Look, my message to AKA right now is that Commander, rest in peace because you, the streets knew you. Whenever there's a problem in Soweto and Eldos, you were first to show up and you didn't want the cameras to follow with you. You'd be first to, to pay for any cocos, anything in the hood. I'm saying it on record. So AKA was a G. The streets will miss him. Maybe some will miss him in the boardrooms, but we'll miss him in the streets. So the only song that comes to mind right now is The World Is Yours. So every young person in South Africa must understand that the world is yours. Keenan told you. And you must take over this world. That means the old people must shift on side. The young people, the world is yours. The future is yours. Take on it. Thank you. There you have it. One of the youth leaders really speaking on um, AKA's legacy. It has been a very moving um, memorial service inside where people came together to remember him. Um, it's back to you in studio. Um, Valentle, I don't know if you can still, no, she's left us, uh, yeah, giving us a, an update on the memorial service, which was very, very touching if you uh, were able to see it during the course of the day. But there were moments, I think, that uh, there probably wasn't a dry eye in the house when um, story after story was being shared and the family in the front row uh, reduced to tears many times, especially looking at um, uh, uh, AKA's daughter, Cairo, who at first seemed to be calm, but I think she started to get a sense of the gravity of the situation and uh, she was overcome. Uh, his current, his partner when he died, Nadia, also reduced to tears. And of course, the father, very moving, uh, watching uh, this memorial service, which was moving, touching and emotive at times, but also, I think, by and large, celebration of a life that was lived uh, very full.